Well, we're watching Governor Dana Malloy and state Democrats have agreed to a deal closing the nearly $1 billion budget deficit. Whether or not the Republicans will accept it, that remains to be seen. News H Jackie Slater live at the state capitol in Hartford this morning with more. Good morning, Jackie. Good morning, Keith. The last day of the regular session was Wednesday, and Democrats had a budget plan in place at that point, but without adequate time for Republicans to review it, they said they wouldn't vote on it until a special session starts later this week. The proposed budget is $19.7 billion. Now, the Democrats' plan includes $830 million in cuts over the next fiscal year. These cuts hit virtually every department and area across the board, from the Department of Corrections to DCF to hospital reimbursement, also taking a hit cuts in funding to cities and towns across the state. Republicans and Democrats don't seem to agree with some of the cuts and proposals to bring in revenue, but they are on the same page when it comes to taxes. There's not a lot of mystery about what's actually in this budget. There's no new taxes. There are no new fees. There's not, you know, there aren't gimmicks in this budget. It's pretty straightforward. It costs businesses more money. It takes it out on the elderly, takes it out on the poor, cuts social services. It plays gimmicks. It plays games. It's the same budget that got the state in trouble year after year. They haven't changed. This is the wrong direction. And the proposed budget is getting some praise from business leaders in the state. The Connecticut Business and Industry Association says they are hopeful no new taxes and strategic cuts will keep businesses from leaving the state. The governor is urging lawmakers not to suggest any changes, saying the budget should be passed as it is. Now, the Senate hopes to vote on this by Thursday. No word yet on a timeline for the House of Representatives. Live at the Capitol, Jackie Slater, News 8.